In this short tutorial, I will show you how to fix music haptics not working on iPhone iOS 18. Music haptics are a fun feature that makes your phone vibrate to the beat of the songs you're listening to. This can make your music experience even more enjoyable. However, sometimes this feature may not work properly. If you're facing this issue, don't worry, I can help you get it up and running again. To get started, open up the settings of your iPhone and then tap Accessibility. In the Accessibility menu, scroll down until you see an option called Music Haptics. Tap on Music Haptics. You'll notice a toggle switch at the top of this screen. Make sure this switch is turned on, this enables Music Haptics on your device. Now that Music Haptics are enabled, take a look at the bottom of the screen. Here, you'll see a list of apps that support Music Haptics. Currently, only one app appears, the Apple Music app. If you're using any other music streaming service or audio player, unfortunately, they will not activate the haptic feedback feature. To experience music haptics fully, it's essential to use Apple Music as your primary audio source. To test if everything is working correctly, open up the Apple Music app, select a song from your library or playlist, and start playing it. As you listen, pay attention, you should feel subtle vibrations corresponding with the beat of the music. If after following these steps you're still not feeling any haptic feedback while listening to Apple Music, try these troubleshooting tips. Restart your device, sometimes a simple restart can resolve minor software glitches. Update your software, ensure that your iPhone is updated to the latest version of iOS 18 by going back into Settings, General, Software Update. Check volume levels, make sure your media volume isn't muted or too low, sometimes haptic feedback may seem non-existent if audio levels are off. Reset all settings, if all else fails and nothing seems to work, consider resetting all settings. Remember that this won't delete personal data but will reset system preferences. So that wraps up this tutorial. If you have any questions about this whole process, please let me know in the comments section below. And if this video helped you out, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more tutorial videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.